Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to kill the character with fire arrows like this. When I shoot him, he will continue to get hurt and burn from the fire arrow and he will finally die because of burning like this. Now here you can see his burnt body. So let me show you again. I'll collect the fire arrow and shoot this guy. Like this. Now he's burning like this. And die. And here is his burning body. Alright, so that's what I'm going to cover today. And this episode is, spo is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up our character blueprint. This one. And yeah, as I implemented in the last time, this is my on arrow hit event. So yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Mm -mm. Yeah, in this part, I'm gonna spread the fire like this. So this is where I spawn damage decal. So using that one, I'm going to do it like this. First, I'm going to get the each bone of my character and yeah like this get mesh get get all socket names and then and then I'm going to promote this one to a variable. I'll call it all sockets. Right, after that I have defined this uh, method function called get closest. Get closest socket. I have yeah this one. This is the implementation of the function. Mm, yeah, but here I am using these socket names. All right, let me change the function like this. Where is the function get closest socket? Is it in the interface? Right, it's right here. So I'll modify, I duplicate this function get closest uh, socket to. Okay, and here instead of using this uh, array, I'll pass it as a parameter like this and then I'll delete this one so I'll name this one socket array all right and then I can get the closest socket or the board so I'll use that function like this get closest socket okay hit location is this one and array is this one and then here I get the bone name then I'll spawn damage decal wait like this 
I'll copy this. Wait, so this is only for burn ins. So therefore, I can just do it like this attach spawn decal attached to the mesh. And for the decal, I will use this uh, M burn in. Right, M burn in. And everything will be same. And the location and the bond name. Right, and add a delay no before that i need to get this all sockets and remove item the item should be this one so i'll remove that like this and then add the delay of yeah, point three seconds, point five seconds, and then connect it back uh, here, and also I'll promote this one. Uh, this hit location to a variable variable because uh, if I have a delay then I would have a problem but uh, let's do that later and each time I do this I'll damage the character well one would be enough and attacker would be this guy whoever is doing the attacks at the time oh this is the arrow so sector is the attacker and yeah I forgot one thing I also need to call this get hit macro in order to show the damage reaction so therefore each time I call this damage right here I'll call get hit uh, macro like this and also it seems uh, since this character has only What's the health value? 20. Uh, let's try increasing this one. About 40. So that we can see, have some more time before he burns out. Uh, let's see how it looks. Get some arrows. And shoot him. Okay, that was a headshot. And if I do take a headshot, he will die instantly. So I won't see the see he's burning. So let's collect an arrow again. Right. Right. Now he's burning. <coughs> Well, I think he is suffering too much. Maybe we should reduce his health. We can, you know how to do that. Now he is finally dead. And you can see his burning body like this. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to do for today. And I'll stop here.